Hello, and thank you for coming to my video today, guys. I really appreciate you. Uh, today is a weekly recap video. I take all of the information that you've missed um, in the past week in the Cardano ecosystem so you guys can stay informed on your investments and stay informed on the Cardano ecosystem. Um, I upload these videos once a week, every week, so make sure you guys come to the next one next week. We're going to be going over a lot of cool stuff today. Uh, we're going to be going over the ERC-20 token. We're going to be going over um, some new partnerships with the Cardano Foundation. Um, we're going to be going over... Uh, Shelly's coming in six days. We're going to be going over uh, if it's actually going to come in six days. What's going on with that? Uh, what's going on behind the system with stake pool operators? That's actually why my video is a little late. Um, it's because I've been building uh, my stake pool, building some decentralized infrastructure, um, and just making sure everything's secure and ready to go for you guys and ready to go for Cardano. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a really good video today. But first, I got to pay rent. So um, there's, there's ways you guys can support me down below. I take eight of donations. Also, uh, a new way that you guys can support me is uh, by downloading the Crypto.com app. If you download that app, I get $50 and you get $50 if you stake some of their coin. But you don't have to do that. Uh, but what's cool about it is you can actually buy ADA with a debit card, with a bank account for zero fees. Um, I think that's awesome. All there is is a withdrawal fee. Um, but most sites like Coinbase, for example, if you want to use a debit card or a credit card, um, you have to pay a very high percentage to do that. Um, but Crypto.com is actually waiving those fees right now. And they also offer um, a credit card where you can spend your cryptocurrency, a debit card. I mean, um, another way you can support me is downloading the Brave browser. Uh, the Brave browser is awesome. It blocks all ads um, on the browser, on your on your phone, um, on your computer. And it also blocks the trackers within those ads. And those trackers actually take your data and sell them to pay for those ads. And that's that's just wrong. You also get paid in a cryptocurrency called BAT. So it's another way to hodl some more currency. But that's enough. Uh, hopefully the rent's paid. Let's jump into the video. Um, so one thing I wanted to touch on, I think this is important news for a lot of Cardano holders. And I just try to get all the information, like I mentioned earlier. Um, the, there's going to be an expected downtime for your Roy wallet and ledger integration. So I actually end up, I actually just got um, a ledger nano X right here. I'm really happy about it. I'm really happy to store my ADA in a secure way and just have a, a second, a second layer of security other than just a spending password. Um, but there's going to be some downtime. You guys aren't going to be able to store your ledger, um, your store your ADA on your ledger. Sorry for mispronouncing that. But, um, the reason is because the, the wallets are going to be different. Um, so currently, the way Cardano works in the federated Byron model, there's there's just two keys. There's a secret key and a public key for spending. Um, the new wallet that's going to come out when Shelly comes out, you guys are all going to have to upgrade to this wallet. I'm going to have a video on my channel showing you guys how to do this. I'm also going to show you guys how to set up Ledger for the new wallet as well, so be in tune for that video. But you guys are not going to be able to have Ledger right away. You're going to have to store your ADA somewhere else in the meantime as Ledger adds support for the new addresses because like i said there's a payment public key and a and a um, payment secret key with shelly there's a staking public key and a staking secret key so essentially in each wallet that you have there's going to be two different secret keys and two different public keys um, there's going to be more keys coming out in the future as more stuff is built on top of cardano but i did want to mention this if you guys want to know why this downtime is uh, i'll have this link down below it's a video from sebastian um, it just explains why and how this all works. So I, I think you guys should check this out if you are um, a holder of ADA on Ledger Nano S or Ledger Nano X. But that's just a little quick. Um, here's what's happening with Ledger. Let's go to the next thing. So the next thing I wanted to talk about today is the Cardano Foundation announces a partnership with the Swiss Like Corp. I'm sorry for pronounced like wrong. Um, but this is a really short article and I just want to go over this today because it is important. These partnerships do mean a lot. Um, these partnerships are what will help build Cardano and bring a, a, a greater user base to Cardano. So as the Cardano Foundation announced yesterday in a press release, it will cooperate with several initiatives with Litecorp, a Swiss-based fintech and financial services company that also operates a crypto exchange. The cooperation aims to combine the Cardano Foundation's experience in blockchain technology with the financial expertise of Litecorp to enhance Lite's financial services offering and strengthening its position in the marketplace. Currently, Litecorp is in the process of applying to the Swiss Financial Market Supervisor, Supervisory Authority for approval, which, if granted, will significantly expand the operation scope and range of financial projects. The partnership with the Cardano Foundation is designed to accelerate the introduction of new products by giving like access to the industry's leading Cardano blockchain. As the press release further states, the partnership will enrich the offerings of both organizations by combining technology and expertise 
to create a new framework of products and financial services. The collaboration is thus closely aligned with the core mission of the Cardano Foundation to foster industry partnerships to drive Cardano success, accelerate an operability, and create value for all Cardano stakeholders. Both the Cardano Foundation and Litecorp are keen about what lies ahead and the opportunities this partnership will bring to the future. Nathan Kaiser, chairman of the Cardano Foundation, stated in this regard, Litecorp is one of the Switzerland's most initiative blockchain financial companies, and we are pleased to be partnering with this expert team. Through this collaboration, both the Cardano Foundation and Litecorp will seek to build financial structure and offer services that will both empower the Cardano ecosystem and enrich the wider blockchain space. Litecorp is involved in several initiatives within the blockchain industry, including like blockchain business services, the LYCI Digital Asset Index, and the Open Initiative, a think tank and fundraiser for the blockchain-based solutions Richard Olson, founder of the C- CEO of Light Group, founder and CEO of Light Group said. Cardano has all the critical attributes to become the blockchain of choice for banks, scalability, formal methods, and a peer-reviewed code base. Our collaboration with the Cardano Foundation and enhances the organized trading facility or OTF offerings of like and paves the way for new like products and services to be built and deployed on Cardano. Um, I'm really happy about this. I'm always, I'm always excited about new, new people um, creating partnerships with the Cardano foundation or with Emergo or with IOHK uh, because this just brings more people to Cardano and, and from what they're stating, they, they fall in line with the values of Cardano. So I just wanted to bring this information to you today. I think it's pretty cool. Um, if more information does come out about this, I'll have it in my next weekly recap. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of that down below. Um, I, I'm not too uh, knowledgeable on on Switzerland and and how Litecorp can bring value to the community, but I will look more into this and give you guys more information as it comes out. But let's jump into the next thing. So the next thing I wanted to talk about today is the ERC-20 converter that Charles Hoskinson mentioned. He's been releasing a lot of great videos lately. They're whiteboard videos on his channel. Um, I really think you guys should check them out. The first one I think you should check out is Decentralized Question Mark. Uh, someone essentially said that there's no tech behind Cardano, blah, 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 the usual stuff. It's a scam. Um, and he made a video explaining why Cardano is more decentralized than Bitcoin. And it's really awesome. He teaches you guys... Uh, what Bitcoin is, how it works. I know a lot of you know that, but then he ties it in to why it's centralized. And then he also talks about um, why Cardano is going to be more decentralized than Bitcoin and how he's going about doing that. He also talks about Voltaire. He just talks about so much good stuff, Gogan. Um, and this really brings me to the ERC-20 converter. So what is ERC-20? It's the smart contract standard for Ethereum. Um, it's it's the way that a lot of these tokens have been built on Ethereum and um this is going to be a good way for us to bring in people people from the Ethereum community to Cardano because I truly believe that for a while Cardano and Ethereum are going to coexist and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I think having a converter is awesome and having these tokens on two different ecosystems, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I know that we're going for number one, uh, but there's no problem with Ethereum being number two right behind us as long as they add value to the car or add value to the whole cryptocurrency ecosystem as Cardano will. So essentially what the CRC22 or 20 converter is doing, it's going to convert these tokens um, and the stuff built on top of Ethereum. It's going to be able to convert that over to Cardano. And he's actually getting someone to do that, to build this converter, to make it easier for people to bring uh, their tokens, to build the stuff they're going to build on top of the blockchain over to Cardano if they're already on Ethereum. So I think this stuff's really important. Um, the two videos that you guys should check out, the links are going to be down below and labeled like always. Um, these are the two videos right here, um, a bit more detail on Cardano for the rest of the year. Uh, this is an awesome video, explains um, what's coming in the future of Cardano, what's coming for the rest of the year, and kind of gives us a little uh, outline while doing his normal white whiteboard style stuff. Um, I'm not going to play any clips from it, you guys just need to go watch it. Um, this is a weekly recap, so I'm going to give you guys some content that you need to consume um, to stay up to date. You know, this is um, some really, really good, important stuff. Uh, I normally I won't do this. Normally I'll just explain the whole thing to you, but this stuff is so good and so nice that you got to watch it. I'm, I'm telling you. But let's go. So for the last portion of this video, I wanted to tell you guys what's going on um, pretty much behind the scenes. Uh, what's going on with Shelly? Is it going to come out in six days? Um, and everything's telling us, yes, it's going to come out in six days. So what we're currently doing right now is something called a mainnet candidate. And I'm going to have a link down below so you guys can download this wallet and play around if you'd like. So what we're doing is they took a snapshot 
Um, I think it was over the weekend or it was late last week, either on Friday, but I want to say it's Saturday. Um, they took a snapshot of all the ADA that people had, and um, we're doing an actual test net where we start. So I've, I've told you guys before about this D parameter. Um, the D parameter stands for decentralized, and it starts at one. And as you lower this D parameter, um, the pools take up the network. So D is the federated model, it's Byron. And then as D is raised to zero, that's full decentralized Shelly. So that's exactly what we're testing right now. Um, the epochs are six hours long, so it can go faster. But we're actually using our real funds, our, um, our real funds from the mainnet. That's why it's called a mainnet candidate. And we're starting our pools with those funds. Uh, we're pledging to our pools with those funds. Uh, and then you guys as delegators, if you would like to test the network, I really appreciate it if you guys would. Uh, I will be having a video coming out um, in a couple days. So currently what we're on is mainnet candidate two. Um, mainnet candidate three is where I'm actually gonna have you guys, I'll make a video showing you guys how to download the wallet, showing you how to get your T data, your test data, um, and, and and then participate to delegate to my pool or any other pool uh, or any other of my buddies. Um, it, I'm really excited for this. It's, it's, it's nice to actually be able to use real funds and have a better representation of what's gonna happen uh, on July 29th. So July 29th is the set date for the code release. That's when Epoch Zero starts. Um, a lot of people uh, were asking, uh, when am I actually gonna start receiving war rewards? And that's going to be August 18th, if everything goes right. Um, everything's seeming to go right right now. Um, who knows? You know, you never know. It could be pushed back seven days, but that's not a big deal. We've been waiting years for this. So pushing anything back for seven days for something important is not a big deal. But I'm not saying that because I think that's going to happen. I'm saying that because it's a possibility. Um, but everyone is saying it's a go. Everything's okay. Um, the stake pools are going well. So we're currently in this mainnet candidate two phase. I'll have the link down below if you guys want to get in a little early to participate in this, but I'm going to make a video um, in a couple days when mainnet candidate three wallet comes out. So you guys can download that, recover your ADA, see what kind of returns you're going to get per epoch and actually get a better example. Um, I know this is a little bit of a quicker video today, but uh, that's why I haven't been uploading much. I've been diving deep into the stake pool stuff. You know, I got to build a business around this. So there's a lot, a lot that goes into it. Um, I'm going to be making a lot more videos once this is out, uh, showing you guys everything you need, but also providing all the information you need. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know if you guys like this video. If you made it to the end, um, type in Logie down below or thanks big pay. Um, I really appreciate it. Sorry for the short one, but I will be keeping you guys up to date. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, Shelly's coming soon. I'm really excited. I hope you guys uh, are all there to delegate to my pool or delegate to anyone else's pool. Um, it's it's truly amazing to see a de de decentralized network coming out and also be a part of it. And um, I think we're building a really great community here too. So very happy. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.